Oh, what? <laughs> you might have to cut this out. <laughs> and tell you. Here's be the old Mumford family here today. It's gonna to be St. Patrick's Day and we're gonna be doing a lovely little thing. We're gonna be reading some of the Irish proverbs today. Does that sound like fun, you little type? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. <don't> <laughs> Hi guys, it's the Mumfords. So we thought something for St. Patty's Day to be really fun is just to kind of sit here and read some Irish proverbs and sayings and see if Karis can figure out what exactly they mean. Yeah, I love funny sayings. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm the only one who knows what's in here. Yep, so I, I have not read any of the proverbs or the sayings that are in there. Yeah. Neither is Karis, so it's going to be a surprise to all of us what exactly Yeah, you pick the first one, Colin. Yep. So, this is... Don't be breaking your shin on a stool that's not in the way. What do you think that means? I think it means like, don't break a promise if it's something that you're able to keep. Mm. Kinda, I think. So I think what it means is, don't go looking for trouble if it's not there to find. Right? Trouble. Maybe some Irish man watching our video will tell us what these mean. There you go. Yeah. Next one. Here's the eyes in your heads and none in your spuds. <laughs> what does okay. that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> I'm gonna love to hear this one. What does that mean? Probably because you're stuck thinking of like the um, things that you want to go your way <laughs> and your eyes are stuck thinking about them in your head and and you're not <laughs> thinking of the right things to do. She's thinking like, too deep. You're, you're, what yeah. is a spud? You know what a spud is? Uh, potato? Yeah. Yes. Do you know what an eye on a potato is? It's just I do. Yeah, that's when it just starts growing those like roots so, out. So, there's no deep meaning to this. It just means hopefully your potatoes don't start growing roots. Eyes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next. Every man is sociable until a cow invades his garden. <laughs> Maybe it means like... Um, if someone is being nice to you, don't get in their way. <laughs> hmm. Think That's of, an interesting thought. Think of the word sociable like friendly. Every man is friendly until a cow invades his garden. That might help you out. Maybe your spirit might change time to time. <laughs> it basically means it's easy to be friendly until a bad person or something bad happens to you. All right. My turn. No man ever wore a scarf as warm as his daughter's arm around his neck. Oh. 
Oh, that is warm. Maybe it means like love you need to remember, but clothing doesn't matter when love comes to you. Oh, let's see. I like it. We're going to stick with that one. Okay. I have to stick it in there. <laughs> You've got to do your own girl, no matter how tall your grandfather was. <laughs> <laughs> your grandfather's pretty short, so you don't have far to go. Yeah. You'd have to learn to do the right thing, even if people are still able to look after you. Oh, uh, maybe, kind of. So, think about it this way. You've got to do your own growing, no matter how tall your grandfather was. Means no matter how wise, think about this way. No matter how wise your grandparents or your or father unwise. or anyone is, or unwise, you got to be responsible for you and how wise you are. Mm -hmm. She does have wise grandfathers, so. though. She does. Yes. Okay. A trout in the pot is better than a salmon in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a trout yeah. in your pot? <laughs> What does that mean? It's better to be thankful about what you have than what's already in a different place. Yeah. Very good. Knuckles. That's very good. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Wisdom right there. <laughs> you say it. You say it on the count of three. One, two, three. All right. Say. May your troubles be as few and as far apart as my grandmother's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. You sometimes think about naughty things time to time. <laughs> and. <laughs> do old people have teeth or are they do they fall out? She probably doesn't know. You probably don't even know, do you? <laughs> so when you get older you sometimes you, you lose your, your teeth. And so you, you yeah. If you don't take if you don't take care of them. Care of them. So may your troubles be as few and as far apart as my grandmother's teeth. So a lot of old people should don't not have, teeth, have a lot of troubles. So you shouldn't have a lot of troubles. <laughs> All right, girl. He didn't whip. He didn't whip it off a stone. Oh. No, no. Read it again. He didn't whip it off a stone. So basically, <laughs> he lied. He really didn't do it. The other person lied to you. He didn't look it off his stomach, he just said he did. <laughs> oh. Is that I right? I need some coffee. Uh, I think it means he didn't learn it himself. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. Like, I have he no learned idea. it from somebody else. I go uh, with, like, he lied. I have he... no idea. I'm the most Irish of the three of us, it, and I have no idea. I think it means he didn't teach it to himself. There is no use boiling your cabbage twice. <laughs> Maybe. There is no use doing something again when you did it wrong the first time. Or right the first time. But very good. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Drum roll. You must crack the nuts before you eat the kernel. Um, you must do this part of the job before you do that part. <laughs> That's right. It is. You have to put work into it before you get the blessing. Yeah. Yep. I knew that would be the blessing of me figuring it out. Put silk on a goat in a still goat. Maybe you can't turn animals into humans. Even if you put things on them, that makes them look like humans. <laughs> oh. 
So, <clears throat> all it means <laughs> is, all it means is, you can't change what you can't change. Like you can't turn animals into humans by putting sure. a dress on sure. them. Sure, yeah. yeah, that's exactly what. Or a scarf. Scarf. Okay. Don't tell your secret even to a fence. Um. Don't. Don't even tell your secret to someone who promised that they wouldn't tell. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. God, God is good, but never dance in a small boat. <laughs> Maybe just. God sometimes gives you blessings, but sometimes you don't get the right thing you expected. Shit, sure, we're going that way. <laughs> Alright. Cheers. I'm picking the best one. Since it's Iris Blessings Day, you know. Um You'll arrive back with one arm as long as the other. <laughs> Like, you'll be okay when you get back, even if something happens to you sometimes. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah. Thanks. There you go. Is that really what it means, or? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, okay. I think so. Okay. You must take the small potato with the big potato. <laughs> Come on, I don't even know what it means. I can't even think what it means. You must take your kids with you. Uh huh. No. <laughs> 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 the small potatoes. <laughs> A lamb's bleat is often. Bah. Yes. That, that exactly. point? A lamb's bleat is more often telling. Sorry, I read that wrong. A lamb's bleat is often more telling than a dog's bark. Um, like the thing that, the thing that says help, you can go to, but the other thing that says get my attention right now, you can't do, you can't come to. <laughs> <laughs> so if a lamb's bleed is super loud and warning you of something, it must mean it's really bad. Mm. Like a wolf. <sighs> um, it's easy to catch a cold in a king's castle as in a shepherd's hut. It's as easy to catch a cold in a king's castle as in a shepherd's hut. Like, if it if this happens to you over here, it can still happen to you over there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Really? Yeah. If you lie down with dogs, you'll rise with fleas. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Maybe like if you do something bad, bad things will happen to you. Mm -hmm. Very similar, yeah. You but if you kind of hang out with people. bad people, bad things are going to happen to you. Yep. Bam. I taught you well. Knuckles. Knuckles. All right. I don't even know if that's physically possible. What? Say it! Say it! Okay. Never rub your eye with anything but your elbow. <laughs> Probably can. Can you rub your eye with your elbow? I can't even reach my eye with my elbow. That's not even possible. I can do it like this. No, it doesn't work. Look. Uh huh. So what does it mean? I don't. What does you think that means? I'm. Never. Really ask your again. parents. Ask your parents to do. Ask your parents for permission 
and don't do anything else besides do that if you're asking for something. <laughs> no, that's totally wrong. Totally wrong. <laughs> no, wait. How <laughs> she's parents in it <laughs> for no reason. Elbow parents. <laughs> yeah. Well. Um, Anything else? Anything else? Or should we move on? It might just mean don't rub your eyes with your hands. Um, the cat is always dignified until the dog comes by. You're always happy until someone until someone stops you from doing good things. Wait, no. You're always happy until someone Kinda. stops you. Think about this, you know, cats, you know how they're always like, they're, they're prim and proper, and they, they walk around, and they, you know, they have their tail up and their nose up. And then the dog comes and, by, and they run away. And they go. <laughs> <laughs> Wisdom is the comb given to a man after he has lost his hair. Hmm. Maybe. Why would you give a comb to a bald guy? That's offensive. Maybe it means you can still say things for later, even if they don't work out for you right now. Like hair. <laughs> oh no. All right, here we go. Here we go. I've heard this one before. A wren in the hand is better than a crane out of it. Sometimes small treasures are better than big treasures. You got it. Good job. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of like the fish and salmon one. Mm -hmm. It's basically, don't wish for things you can't have. Be thankful for things you do have. Yep. Hindsight is the Hindsight. best. Hindsight. Hindsight is the best insight to foresight. <laughs> I do not even know what all the words <laughs> mean. How's it over to that? <laughs> <laughs> Hindsight is the best insight to foresight. So hindsight is things you've already done that you can look back on in the, in the past and say, hmm, I probably shouldn't have done that. Insight is when you have knowledge of something that's about to happen. And foresight is when you're looking to the future. So being able to look behind you at what you've done is the best knowledge you need for what you should do in the future. Bam. Bam. Bam! Where's your hand Proverb in the drop. air? It's difficult to choose between two blind goats. <laughs> Maybe it means like... I found this under the list that somebody said they did not know the meaning of it. So... so oh, neither do I. There's two things that are the same, but you just choose one of them no matter what happens like just choose one of them because mm -hmm. they might be twins <laughs> all right last two here we go Science. don't give cherries to pigs or advice to fools huh? Don't give the wrong sayings to somebody else. Well, kind of. Don't give good things to people that don't appreciate them. And don't give good wisdom to people that aren't going to listen. Oh. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay, last I'm going to take the last one. one. So Cheers I have the most good it. luck of the day because I got the last one. Um, never bolt the door with a boiling carrot. <laughs> Okay. Good one, Emma. <laughs> okay, Harris. What does it mean to never bolt the door with a boiled carrot? Never do the wrong things to nice things. <laughs> no. 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 Not at all. No. Not at all. Why will it not work to bolt? So to lock your door with a boiled carrot. Oh, bolt means lock. Mm -hmm. I never knew that. Yeah. 
So why wouldn't it work to do it with the boiled carrot? Because it's not in the same shape. <laughs> As what? A what? key. Oh, what if you make the key, this, the carrot the shape of the key? Would it work then? No. Why not? Because it's not the key. So what it's saying is never bolt your door or lock your door with a boiled carrot. Boiled carrots are soft, right? Right. So is that going to so keep anybody out? No. no. It'll just break. It'll just break. Yeah. Did we all learn something today? I thought, I think we all did. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. It was fun for us. So if you have any other Irish sayings or proverbs or anything like that that we didn't cover, put them in the comments down below. Uh, we'd love to read them and see what you guys have for that as well. Also, make sure you click the subscribe button. That would really help our channel. And give us a comment down below. Yep. Give us a comment down below or give us a big thumbs up that's right so give us a big thumbs up or and make sure you follow us on instagram as well and from the mumford family y'all have a good night mm -hmm. good luck to all of you happy saint patrick's day happy saint patrick's day <laughs>